this video I want to show you a special thing. Uh, since a few days there is a discussion in the internet about Aikido versus MMA and um, there was a video that showed that the Aikido guy was not able to handle the friendly attacks of the MMA guy. In this video I want to explain and I want to show you um, how you can play classical Aikido or classical Jiu Jitsu type of movement in a scenario like MMA or like um, when punches are involved, you know. First I will show you what is the biggest mistake and why usually the stuff does not work when someone tries um, to punch you. Uh, the biggest mistake is that people chasing hands, they try to grab, if he's trying to box with me just like a box, whatever, and I'm going like this, if I try to grab the hand, you see, I have a problem because I'm not able, I'm not fast enough. If I grab one hand, the other one hits me. I'm not fast enough to go for a hand, grab the hand, do a wrist lock, do some stuff like this, or even just go behind the guy. So the problem is people are trying to clash force against force with their partner or with their opponent. But when you think about Aikido and about the philosophy of Aikido, um, it's Aiki, it's harmony, it's merging forces not clashing, not force against force, but harmonizing forces and that is the most important thing. So the first thing you should learn is to be able to move with your body rather than with your arms. So before you can attack, you must be able to evade certain punches. So what you should be able is, if you say like before, you have to be able to, whatever, you have to be able to move and stay in the range where you see I'm not going I'm not going I'm not doing this I'm just merging I'm moving even if we touch it's not it's not a hard touch it's just movement and feeling so that is the first step you need to be able to merge with the attacks of your opponent in your movement with your arms with your body and then you're able you have time a little bit of time and you have the the timing and the distance to do some classical stuff so i show you what i mean you have to move and you should have a clash you see moving moving and then from here you can move in you know but first you have to learn you just whatever you need to move you need, to be able, you need to be able to move, you know? This is the most important thing, not going like, oh, not going up, oh, oh. No, you have to be able to merge with the force. You see, he's attacking you, you have to move. And then you can go in, you see? So the most important thing is feel a distance. Become, Become good in this instance, and then you maybe can do some Aikido stuff. I would say, from my experience, I don't see any reason to fight someone who comes with punches to me and doing only Aikido type of stuff because I think punches, kicks, elbows in combination with the wrist locks and arm locks is great. But there are some situations maybe where there's a guy who's a little bit drunk, or it's your friend, or you don't want to hurt the guy, maybe you're a police officer, then you need this kind of stuff. And then you can use this Aikido type, classical Jiu Jitsu type stuff to defend yourself. The problem is, and I'm honest with you, I showed you how this works, and it works, but of course, if you can do punches and elbows and knees and headbutts and, and clinch and everything, it works much better. <laughs> so, yes, it can work, but it would work better if you can clock the guy before, if you can kick the guy before, it would work much better. But if you want to apply these kind of stuff, you have to learn to move your body and to merge with the force. Once more, one more time. It's important to, when he's coming, you need to feel the distance. You see, he's moving, he's, he's really hitting me. But that is the distance I need. From here, I can move in. But I can only move in if he punches me. And I go this way. No. Because I give him the feedback. You guys go, whoa, whoa, next one comes in. 
I need to let him go inside. He punched me. Whoa. Because I'm not stopping him. I'm moving out of the way. You need to be able to, if he's coming at you, you need to be able to move out of the way. If he's coming, facing whatever, you have to play with it. With the stuff. You know, it's not easy. Like I said, it's easier to knock someone out, in my opinion. It's even more easier to clinch and take someone to the ground. That is, in my opinion, the easiest way to control a fight in a gentle way. But if you need to do wrist locks, Aikido stuff, uh, arm locks, whatever, it's important to learn moving your body, evading, and the most important thing, harmonizing forces. You don't want to go force against force. You don't want to clash. You want to merge. That's for now. And next time, maybe a little bit more BGG again.